so um, that's where my heart is. I believe that's where God has us tonight. Yes. And I believe that uh, God is going to bless each one of us, not only us, but those who are tuned in with us tonight. And yes. so uh, we're just going to believe God. Will you pray for those who will be viewing tonight? Would you lift up a prayer? Yes. yes. Thank you, Lord, that the airways are open tonight to the kingdom of God and the truth and the wisdom of God, that it will flow in perfect harmony and that, Father God, there will be no word that returns void, that it will prosper in every way that it's sent to go to. And, Father, we thank you tonight that we all have ears to hear what the Lord would say. In Jesus' name. Amen. We just want to welcome you tonight. We're so excited about the passage of Scripture that we'll be exploring and looking into and just rejoicing over because it's something that um, we did maybe mm -hmm. two years ago, a group of us. You were with us. Mm -hmm over at Apostle Dorothy Washington's mm -hmm. church yes. where we started looking at this passage of scripture and it was as led by the Lord. The Lord gave us the, um, the uh, direction to begin to uh, explore Isaiah 9 and it was real important that we did it in that framework and in that uh, particular time frame. And so I don't know, um, he's brought that back to me this year, that was in 2016, now mm -hmm. we're in 2018. And so I love exploring that passage of scripture. I love looking at it. We had some wonderful, wonderful prayer sessions on it. As a matter of fact, when we dissected it, we dissected it with each part of what he is called. And yes. that was just an amazing, amazing time. I remember that Lana Reese was with us yes. during that time. Who else exactly. was with us? I know Apostle Dorothy Washington was with us. Uh, uh, Tony. Oh, okay. Tony yeah, Moore Tony was, was with there. us. Um, I believe one of the nights uh, we also had visiting with us was Apostle Ida Ulrich. I believe she came okay. and was with us okay. one of the nights during that time. And so God just so blesses us to have tremendous individuals that come and partner with us from right. time to time as we're doing uh, this ministry. And so tonight, we're just going to talk a little bit about uh, this passage of scripture. But when, one of the things that we do want to do, we also want to let you know that we have a guest coming yes. to be a part of our broadcast on our next 30 minute session. We're going to do 30 minutes here with you. Then we're going to take a break and then we're going to come back for the second 30 minutes. And we're going to have the former mayor of Rosenberg that will be coming to be a part of this broadcast. And you'll just be so elated to meet her. Not only was she the mayor of Rosenberg, but she also is a minister of the gospel. Yes. And so we're gonna have an awesome, awesome time tonight. Uh, we also want to announce that on January the 18th, that's a Friday, Friday night, night at 7 p.m., who's coming? Chuck Pierce. Apostle Chuck Pierce is coming to be with us here in this city. He's coming with a city word, a right. regional word, a word for the body of Christ. And so we want you to be on alert. Yes. We want you to be aware. We want you to say that date. It is Friday night, January the 18th, mm -hmm. 2019 at 7 p.m. We'll be meeting at Harvest Time Church mm -hmm. and the bishop there is Bishop Shelton Beatty. Awesome, awesome man of God. Right. And he has allowed us to use that venue that particular night to host Apostle Chuck Pierce. Mm -hmm. So we're asking all of the region to come out and to be with us. We're asking all of the key leaders all of the individuals who are hungry to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. And I know God is talking to each one of you and speaking to you concerning the year 2019. But we also want to hear from our apostle, Apostle Chuck Pierce. Right. 
as he comes to this region and he comes very often. He has invested much in this region. Right. He loves this region and he is investing about three different meetings here in this city in the year of 2019. He announced that when he was here in, what was it, August? Or yes, it was he August. He was here in August, and uh, he announced that the Lord was speaking to him that he needed to be uh, coming into the region at least three or four times a year. And so we're going to expect him here. The first meeting will be January the 18th, 2019 mm -hmm. at 7 p.m. at Harvest Time Church 17770 and that is on Imperial Valley and it is right in the area of Greens Point Mall. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you'll have any difficult finding it. Of course look it up on the web if you don't know exactly where it's located but many, many individuals here in this region know where that powerful church is because this ministry ministers to the region. It is not a church that stays behind four walls and does not reach out to the community. I remember the various floods that have come through when Harvey came through, other situations, wind storms, and different catastrophes that have hit this region. Mm -hmm. Harvest Time Church was there with all of their members and workers and all different kinds of other ministries partnering with them. I think Operation Blessing mm -hmm. came down and brought some people. And they're just a ministry that reaches out to the region. So what an appropriate place for us to host this meeting to the region. This is not a Deborah DeGar meeting. This is not a Voice of God meeting. This is not a, a, mm -hmm. anyone here in this region. This is a God meeting, right. and that means you. Yes. No particular person can lay hold of what God is about to do. He's about to do something so tremendous right. that eyes have not seen nor have ears heard. It has not even entered into our mind mm -hmm. the things that God has planned for this region. So I'm telling you, save that date, be prepared, and let's go for it at the beginning of 2019. Well, that's good for that. Tonight, let's talk about the Lord. Amen. Amen He's doing that. great and marvelous things. So what I want to do is I want you to get your Bible, and I want you to turn to Isaiah 9. And I'm going to ask Leanne if she will read from verse 2 to verse 7. Okay. And what version of the Bible is that? That's a good question. Let's look on the back side over there. We borrowed Tom, this Bible. Yeah, it's Thompson Chain Reference Bible. It's the King James it's Version. It's the King James Bible. So she's going to read it out of this Bible that we just grabbed from somebody yeah. here at the set. And But I wanted to read it out of the Message Bible. So let's hear what King James has okay. to say. It says, The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. Thou hast multiplied the nation and not increased the joy. They joy before thee according to the joy in harvest, and as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden, and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor as in the day of Midian. For every battle of a warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. This is the good part. Listen up. It is. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end mm. upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it 
to establish it with judgment and with justice for henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Amen. And when the zeal of the Lord of hosts yes. gets to performing, let me tell you, things happen. Yes. And what I wanted to do is I want to read it out of the Message Bible because one of the things that the Message Bible does for me is it kind of brings it home. Yes. It puts it in my everyday language. Right. It's not the King James language, but it's in, in the way I talk, the way I think, the way I feel, the passion I have yes. when I'm talking about something. This, this uh, Message Bible tends to do that. And it says, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light, but those who lived in a land of deep shadows, light, sunburst of light. Wow. You repopulated the nation. Mm -hmm. You expanded its joy. Oh, they're so glad in your presence. Festival joy. Mm -hmm. The joy of a great celebration. Mm -hmm. Sharing rich gifts and warm greetings. The abuse of oppressors and cruelty of tyrants. All their whips and cuddles and curses is gone. Done away with a deliverance as surprising and sudden as Gideon's old victory over Midian. The boots of all those invading troops, along with their shirts soaked with innocent blood, will be piled mm -hmm. in a heap and burned. A fire that will burn for days. Now listen, this is the good part again. Mm -hmm. All of it's good, but this part right here, right. it just jumps out to me. It says, for a child has been born for us. The gift of a son for us. He'll take over the running of the world. His names will be Amazing Counselor, Strong God, Eternal Father, Prince of Wholeness. His ruling authority will grow and there'll be no limits to the wholeness he brings. Mm -hmm. He'll rule from the historic David throne over that promised kingdom. He'll put that kingdom on a firm footing and keep it going with fair dealing and with right living, beginning now mm -hmm. and lasting always. Mm -hmm. The zeal of God, of the angel armies, will do all of this. And the thing that excites me is when we begin to recite and to establish the awesome gift he is to us. Mm -hmm. And one of the things, Leanne, that the Lord was talking to me about as we selected this passage of scripture was that this is a gift-giving season. Yes. This is a season when uh, many people mm -hmm. are giving monetary gifts. Right. Are giving natural gifts. Yes. Are giving all kinds of things that are useful to individuals mm -hmm. as gifts. It's a time of giving. Right. It's a time of giving. It's a time of giving. Mm -hmm. But the thing that God said to my heart was, when the world is giving gifts, God also gave a gift. Right. What we want to do is we want to focus in on this awesome gift mm -hmm. that we have received. Leanne is a gift. And next week we're going to talk about the gifts as it relates to the fivefold ministry. But before we can even get to the fivefold ministry, we have to talk about this awesome gift. Yes, we do that we have been given in our Lord and Savior, Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. So talk about it a little bit, and then we're going to go through each one of these names because the scripture says his name 
shall be called. And then he begins to list mm -hmm. them. When uh, this came about, the scripture, we had decided mm -hmm. this. I had been going through a lot of hustle <laughs> to do this, to do that, to be here, and those things. And I was wanting to shut out the voices of the world and the busy mm -hmm. and those things because I said to God, I said, Lord, I need to feel your spirit. Mm -hmm. I want it to come alive during this time. And so I decided I wasn't even going to listen to media, any news oh God. whatsoever. Yes, that's wonderful. And so I said, I, I just want to focus on what this is. Do you know that my faith began to rise in a whole different way? Because when you read this, you cannot be depressed. No, you cannot. You cannot feel defeated. Mm -mm. You cannot feel undone. Okay, mm -hmm. because it takes it hits all the spots mm -hmm. that our lives relate to and what we have to go through every day. And he says, and I'm above that. All right. And I'm above that. Yes. And I'm above that. And so I began to to even say to the Lord, yeah, this may be going on here. But you have come over the top of that mm -hmm. thing. I submit myself to your lordship in those things mm -hmm. because he's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And as a gift, we treat him as a gift. See? And so in the midst of all that we go through, it changed my perspective because I had gotten even to a place where I thought, Oh, no, you know, news yeah, will just bring now. you yeah. down, you oh, know. Yeah. And so there comes a time we have to nourish ourselves on the Word of God. Mm -hmm. There comes a time that we have to focus steadfast upon His name yes. and what He represents and what He says He's going to do. Because He says, I'm not going to come short in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. And that's our hope in the midst of whatever we're... Uh, you know, around. Whatever we're faced with. That's right. That's it. And so my faith would arise mm -hmm. and the con uh, the the consistency. Because you almost cannot study this passage of no. scripture. You cannot look at it without no. seeing the fulfillment and the wonderful awesomeness yes. of our God. So he was saying receive it. Yeah. Receive it. So don't just read it. Right. Receive, receive it. it. And so I had to I put, had to put it in its correct place, and it gave me strength. It gave me courage. It gave me momentum, mm -hmm. you know, to do the next things that I needed to do. Mm -hmm. But most of all, it's residing there in my heart, above all things, yes. because we have to take care of our own vessel. That's it. Well, one of the things that um, bottom line with our next guest is we want to talk about the fact that uh, the scripture says that the government shall be upon his shoulders. So we want to talk about this from um, a point, a viewpoint of ruling and reigning. Right. But let's rejoice over who he is right quick before we go to all that, before we go to the business of what God is doing in mm -hmm. and through us here in the earth realm and who he is to us. Right. It says, for unto us a child was born. A, a child was born for us in the Message Bible. It says, the gift of a son right. for us. He'll take over the world, the running of the world. And then it begins to talk about his names. Mm -hmm. It says, his names will be amazing counselor. And that's where, I remember, Lana Reese just went off yes, last, she did. Year, last year. What did yes. she have us saying? She, amazing. Every time she would say something, she'd stop and say, He's amazing. It, yeah, he's amazing. And then we would repeat it. He's amazing. Yeah, he's amazing. So, so we got stuck on that first name that he is called in our gathering in 2016. Mm -hmm. And I have never forgotten how... Uh, Reverend Lana Reese just mm -hmm. brought that amazement 
of who God is to life in our yes. lives. And she continued to say, and I want you to continue to say, one of God's mm -hmm. names is amazing. amazing. He's amazing. He is amazing. And mm -hmm. he is an amazing counselor. There is no one that you and I can have as a confidant or one who will direct us, one who will lead us, one who will give us instructions, one who will counsel us, mm -hmm. one who will help us down the pathway of life, but our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is an amazing counselor. Mm -hmm. Now, I believe that some of you may need a counselor in this hour. We may never get past that first name that he's called tonight, but I want you to remember that he is amazing. He's an amazing counselor. Mm -hmm. And then it says, he's a strong God. Yes. Talk about him being a strong God, Leanne. He's not going to give out <laughs> <laughs> after a while. And you know what? That makes him able to outwit our enemies because he, he is not going to come up short on anything. You know, um, that gives me a lot of comfort to know that he can cover all the bases and his wisdom is greater than any wisdom. His ways are higher than any, any ways. And so we just have to stay connected to him and keep holding him in high esteem that he is worth that. And really, you know, within us, Deborah, if, if we will follow our spirit, it rises up mm -hmm. in us. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And, and, and so much is encapsulated in him. But the best part, you know, is that he is not going to give out. We're not going to run him off in that. He's going to, something's going to come up in us that he can't handle. You know? Nothing's going to come That's up that right. he can't no handle. Surprises. <laughs> no surprises. No surprises. And you know that word mighty God is translated El Gabor. Oh, El Gabor, That's, mighty that, God. Yes. And so you just need to sit back and say, El Gabor. Yes. Come to my aid. Strong God. God that is more than enough. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible says that he will come and deal with the enemies that are too strong for us. Yes, he does. And anything that's too strong for us is not too strong for right. him. He is the strong God. He is El Gabor. He is the mighty God. He is the God that can bring down any enemy that faces you. That's right. And so in this season of gift giving, we have been given a God that is strong, mm -hmm. a God that is amazing, a God that is mighty, a God that is a counselor. He is awesome in all of his ways. It's an awesome gift, Leanne. It is. And even in that counselor, the word wisdom is in there, is part of that. And his wisdom is greater than any other wisdom. He outwits our enemies, you know, like I was saying earlier, but he confounds yeah. also. He's and a God so, of great wisdom. Go ahead. I know there was a... Um, I, I can one drink time, some of my coffee right. while you... <laughs> Please do. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> so uh, Chuck said one time, he said... You, you need to have shrewdness. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. um, he was on um, something, I think it was even last year, and there was a young lady uh, that was in the meeting that said she didn't know if she, if she was, could be shrewd. Mm -hmm. And so I, I started kind of looking at that, studying it a little bit, thinking, I took a personality test, uh, my husband and I did, and and it w had a lot of traits on it, and it said one of those traits was shrewdness. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that kind of came back to me back around, you know. And that's a real important part that we are able to stand up in, in anything that the enemy comes with, but that we also have a part of us that doesn't entangle with mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. that the enemy does you know sometimes we think well you know 
if we allow a thought to come that he could entertain within us, then we can be entrapped. But shrewdness is one of the characteristics of God. Mm -hmm. And so when we operate in that, we get in a place where we're not going to be entrapped. We are setting the game plan through God's heart, through his wisdom and all those things. Hi, Jeanette. Hi, Victoria. It's so good for you all to be joining us tonight. Go ahead. And so we, we don't have to take just anything, mm -hmm. you know. And so even when we look at these characteristics and what they really do mean of him, mm -hmm. we are armed and dangerous we people. We are armed and dangerous. Look, if he is a strong God, if his name is strong God, then that means we're strong. That means we have yes, strength. Yes. That means we can endure hardness right. as good soldiers. That right. means we can rise above rise. anything that the enemy brings against us. That means that we're overcomers. That means that we're more than uh, uh, overcomers in right. Christ Jesus. Right. That means that we're victorious in every situation. It means that he always causes us to triumph. Right. That means we are here in this right. earth realm who he is. Right. On the inside of on us. On the inside. A strong God. Exactly. So I want to say to you as we conclude this segment and we take a little break and we're going to bring on our guest in the next five or ten minutes. I want to say to you that this is a season that you begin to celebrate who God is. Right. And in every one of his names, he is revealing who he is. He is the God who will take over the running of the world. His names will be called Amazing Counselor, mm -hmm. Strong God, Eternal Father, Prince of Wholeness. Right. Did you hear what I said? He is the Prince of Wholeness. You can be made whole. You don't have to be fragmented. You don't have to be fallen right. by the wayside. That's right. He's the Prince of Wholeness. And his ruling authority will grow, it says. Mm -hmm. It's not going to diminish. And there will be no limits to the wholeness he brings. Be blessed. Mm. And we are about to come right back in about five minutes. Leanne is about to pop. So you <laughs> want to be back so she can pop on you on the first part of the segment that we'll come into next. So God bless you. <laughs> 